heat maps help you understand areas of your website where visitors are struggling. I don't know if I would classify them as a usability testing tool. I think they give you signals that people are struggling in a particular area. And this, of course, will depend to a great extent on the way you look at a heat map, the way you analyze a heat map. You need to be able to look at a heat map and say, you know what, here are the signals that I'm getting from my visitors. Some of those signals are very clear, correct? And some of those signals are dead giveaways that there is a usability issue here. So for example, dead clicks. You look at the heat map and there's an area on the page where people are clicking but there's nothing, no action is happening. Yeah, that's probably a usability issue, correct? People are telling you we expect to click over here, but nothing is happening on the on the website. So that tells you that there is a usability issue there. Another thing that you can look at when you're looking at a heat map, an area on the page where there's lots of mouse movement that tells you to a good extent that people are interested in this particular area of a particular page. Now, is that always a usability issue? Not necessarily. Sometimes it's around the copy, around the messaging that you have on that section. But that tells you people are interested in that section. So what do you need to do? You need to look at this usability. You need to look at this location. What can I do to improve that section? Sometimes heat maps also tell you the important sections for people. Let's say you're looking at a scroll map. Page is long. You know, it has 10 different sections. I see lots of interaction. I always see lots of interaction at the, at the top section of the page. I'm scrolling. I see less interaction. I see visitors drop off. At some point, I'm like, okay, well, there's only 30% of my visitors that remain on the page. And then all of a sudden, you see a section with a lot of interaction a lot of clicks. This tells you a lot of things. People were not interested in a good chunk of the content that you've had prior to this section because that's the reason you had a large drop off. But those who remained committed to your page, to your content, they didn't interact with many of the sections. But now when they got to this particular section, they are highly interested in that section. So guess what? You need to ask yourself, so what do I have in this section? Do I need to move it up? Is there important messaging over here that we really should have in a different section, a much higher section on the page? Is this usability? Yeah, you can, you can argue whether it's usability or not, but it's really about making the user experience better, correct? Which I think to me, it includes usability, includes copy, includes many things.